Hello YouTube, this is TerraForce88 and what you are looking at is an IBM DTTA 371290 hard drive. This is a an IBM DeskStar 14 GXP specifically the 12.9 gigabyte version. There were three different versions of the 14 GXP. The 14.4, the 12.9, and the 10.6 I know it's 10 point something it was manufactured in November of 1998 um, the 14 GXP which is denoted by DTTA and 37 if this is DTTA 35 it's a 16 GP model the um, which went up to like 16.8 gigabytes but the uh, 14 GXP drives were IBM's first 72 RPM, 3.5 inch desktop hard drives. The 16 GP was like the higher capacity but slower spinning 5400 RPM versions of these drives. Um, the reason why I'm filming this is because this hard drive still works. And, you know, desk SARS tend to have a pretty nasty reputation regarding reliability. This drive, we got this computer around Christmas time of 1998. This drive, not only, it still works just about perfectly. I say just about because there are, I think, 70 reallocated sectors on it. Um, but considering how old this hard drive and considering how high the power on hours count, I forget the number, Exactly, but I do know that it's the equivalent equivalent of five years and four months, roughly. This hard drive is amazing um, in terms of how long it's held up for us. So, this is the hard drive that originally came on, well, I have the bezel off, but it's a Dell Dimension XPSR 400. Pentium 2 processor and I'm going to demonstrate this hard drive because it still works perfectly and it is a very very noisy hard drive it has always been very noisy even when it was brand new it also takes a long time to spin up but it always has when, when, even when it was brand new because you're talking a the first three and a half inch 7200 rpm hard drive from IBM and B this particular model has five platters in it. Five. The 12.9 and the 14.4 have five platters. I think the 10.6 or whatever has like four platters. But yeah, I'm gonna um, demonstrate, I'm gonna reinstall this hard drive into that Dell and uh, kind of demonstrate just how noisy this drive is and yet how it still works perfectly fine. Okay, we're back, and now, as you can see, the hard drive has been reinstalled in the machine. Got the bezel reinstalled, monitors turned on, and we're going to boot this guy up. You get to see just how, get to hear just how loud this sucker is. We're going to boot into Windows 98 here. The hard drive bearings seem a little noisy, um, but the more you use it, the more it goes away, but as far as how long it took to spin up, that's about normal. As far as the, the clicks that you hear, that's normal. The new one is brand new.
Alright, so we finished loading Windows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the computer with a uh, and run HDAT2 um, so you can view the smart data. I don't have a uh, for some reason I don't have a smart data program already installed on this. I could always get one but I already have I didn't prepare for that in time so we're gonna go ahead and install I'm gonna go ahead and restart this computer And yes, this is with Quick Boot enabled in the BIOS. Okay, so HDD, Diagnosis, HDAT2 4.5.3. HDAT DAT2 Okay, there's our drive the IBM DTT8 371290 Now we're going to go to the smart menu read attribute data As you can see the reallocated sector count is at 70 Start stop count is at 2602 which I guess isn't which is actually kind of low. I mean, we used to leave this thing running all the time. Raw read error rate decreased, but that happened years ago. Throughput performance signs. Spin up time tends to fluctuate kind of bit due to the bearings. But notice the power on hours count. Four, 46,446 hours. And that's about five years, a little over five years and four months. Notice the drive cycle power counts relatively low, 714. But yeah, anybody who's watching this, I challenge you to find an older IBM Desk Star with a higher power on hours count that that still works um, than my drive. Try finding an IBM Desk Star that's older and has a higher power on hours count that's still functional. I don't know if it's because I'm just lucky. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that this hard drive is mounted vertically in the uh, PC case. But this drive just keeps on ticking <laughs> in a good way. So, um, that's my um, demonstration of my old IBM Desk Star 14 GXP. Uh, one more thing before I um, close the video, I'm going to shut the machine down. It's just at the BIOS screen, so, and there's no, there is no um, shut down option, so I just have to hit the power button. Those bearings sound a little dry today. Oh well. Terraforce 88 signing out.